Welcome to Therapy Explained, where we explain, demystify, and destigmatize mental health and mental health treatment. My name is Denise Planner. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and your very own mental health cheerleader. In today's video, we are going to be talking about another book recommendation. This is the second video in this series. I'm going to be recommending books on mental health and wellness for BIPOC adults and couples. These are books that I tend to recommend to my own patients and we have a list at our group practice of all the books that we love. So if you want to check out the book that we'll be talking about today, and any other book that we've spoken about in the past and we'll be speaking about in the future, go ahead and check out that book list. Before we jump into talking about this book, which I love very much, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the books that you will be linked to or the bookshops that you will be linked to. You might already know that this is a personal value of mine to support BIPOC shops, stores, and other businesses. And as a way to do that, I myself, as well as my group practice, have decided to create links to books on our website um, so that you can buy from small independent bookstores. So if you ever decide to purchase one of these books, our main purpose really is to help you learn and grow. Wherever you purchase that book is up to you. If you purchase that book is up to you. But the links that we have provided for you are for smaller bookshops. If we cannot find a small bookshop that sells that book, then we will link you to the author or ultimately in our last resort, we will be using Amazon just because we think it's important for you to be able to access these books. Without further ado, let's jump into this month's recommended books, Set Boundaries and Find Peace. This book is written by a licensed therapist named Nedra Glover Tawab. And she's also on Instagram. You may or may not already be familiar with her. I will go ahead and also share her handle on Instagram so you could follow her. She talks a lot about boundaries, a lot about family relationships and mental health and wellness for people of color as well. And it is just amazing the stuff that she puts out. She published this book and of course I immediately had to purchase it. The reason that I recommend this book is because it talks about boundaries, it introduces boundaries, but it also does something very wonderful, which is it also touches on the difficulty of setting boundaries. Because as you probably already know, sure, it's easy to say this is important, I should definitely do it, I know that it'll help me, but it's another to actually do it. There's these moments that we reach when we're trying to establish boundaries that feel so impossible to get past. And the way that she talks about them, the way that she address them, addresses them, and the stories that she tells along with the journey of setting boundaries really makes you feel seen. I loved this book so much. It's, again, a great kind of conversation to have about boundaries, to understand boundaries better and its complexities and nuances of what it actually goes into or what it takes to be able to build boundaries. This book is a significant book. It covers a lot about boundaries, how to establish them, different experiences in which it can be difficult to do so, and also why it is so important to still try to establish these boundaries. I got both the audiobook version and the book itself because it helps me to make progress when I'm not able to sit down and read the actual book. So I just kind of listen to it as I go whenever I have a chance to do both, be a little productive, like doing chores and then also listening to the book. And then other times I really want to have the physical book to read, to scribble my notes into. So it comes in both ways and that's just an easier way in which I can consume the book. So if you are more of an audiobook person, it is available. And if you are more of a physical book person, then that is also an option. This book is for people who would like to learn more about boundaries and in the process might also could benefit from being more compassionate with that journey itself. You might be really hard on yourself thinking I should already, I need to kind of already have these healthy boundaries established because that's what's good for me. And if that's you and you're being hard on yourself, you need this book. 
<laughs> it will help you normalize how challenging it can be and the fact that you know some cultural stuff a lot of cultural stuff goes into establishing boundaries it's not as simple as saying no or, or cutting away from our friends and family it's a lot more complicated than that and if you would like a book that talks about it encourages you and also kind of weaves in some self-compassion this is definitely the book you want to get my tips for making the best of this book is to, of course, break it into, down into pieces that are easier for you to sit through. Again, this book talks about boundaries, the complexities of it, and can be very compassionate. But when we are talking about setting boundaries, it might activate some uncomfortable feelings for us. So definitely do it in the space and a time in which you feel you can make room for reflection, which is my second piece of advice to make the best of this book. If you're choosing to read just 10-15 minutes a week or a day or whatever it is the amount of time you're dedicating to this book and you want to take it one step further i encourage you to journal and reflect on how you felt about what you heard or read in this book as you know i strongly believe that engaging in reflection on of the experiences that we have had helps us gain insight and awareness to how the outside world is affecting us and how our internal world is affecting the way that we engage with others. So if you're reading this book and things are coming up for you, pay attention to that, process that, soothe that if it's something uncomfortable, and it'll help you continue your journey in boundary setting. The other tip about reflecting when you're reading this book is that you might notice some things that are particularly challenging, uncomfortable, or that you're having questions about setting boundaries in general. And if you are already in therapy, these are wonderful questions to bring to your therapist. Let them know that this is something that you're working on, you're reading this book, and stuff is coming up for you and you want to be able to process it. That's exactly what therapy is for. So if you're engaging in that reflection for your from your reading, you can also take some of these questions and feelings into your session to process it. If you don't already have a therapist, remember that I'm always encouraging you to seek it out in your area. And I also have a list of resources and I will link them down below. So make sure to check that out. As always, let's talk about the author because it's important for us to take into account who it is that is telling us these things. What are they telling us? And why are they telling us this? Because remember, a person's identity and experiences will shape what they tell us and it will shape the way that we experience it. Nedra is a licensed therapist. I believe that she also continues to practice therapy. So she has patients and she is a relationship expert. So she talks again a lot about how to establish healthy relationships. And a part of that is boundaries. She is also a black woman, which I think is what helps me or helped me feel more seen because while I do not share that identity with her, I think I can connect to that complexity of being a woman of color and all the things that come with that. And in some ways, of course, I also could not. And getting that insight was also helpful. But I really appreciated the way that she talks about boundary setting. And I think that her identity, not just as a black woman, but also a licensed therapist and someone who has had to go through this journey herself, that makes it so much more helpful to write and to read. So about boundaries. And so when I'm listening to this book and or reading this book and I'm looking through all these experiences, I think that I felt very seen and heard because of all of that, because she's had her own journey, because she works with people who are going through this journey. She supports people through this. She talks about this all the time. Again, she's on Instagram, and so she's constantly sharing information about this and her perspective on establishing boundaries, and that's important. She does the work, she knows the work, she understands the work. If you would like to purchase the book, I will leave a link down below to, again, that independent bookstore website. And if you would like to check out the other books that we have recommended in the series, go ahead and check out the website for our books also down below. I hope that this book is an additional resource for you in your boundary setting and hopefully also self-compassion practice. And thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, remember, I'm cheering for you.